Yes, yes, yes. Football's coming home. Welcome to HQ Trivia. I'm Beric, and that was a good afternoon, wasn't it? Eight people won £625 each on our World Cup special. And then there was our England game, enough said. And now we've got Russia and Croatia doing their thing, uh, obviously going to extra time, so we're just going to sneak a cheeky game in in the middle of that. Could be an nail biter. We'll be playing one of them, of course, on Wednesday. And we're going to make our 3pm game another World Cup special with a £6,000 prize. Meanwhile, other things have been happening in the world. If you're celebrating Pride today, then happy Pride! At HQ, we celebrate diversity in all its forms, and as ever, we will have a diverse range of questions for you tonight, and a prize of £1,000. Twelve questions, starting easy, but getting beastly. Get all of them right to win or split the cash. Let us go straight to the quiziology. Here comes Q1. In the classic Greece song, what are multiplying? Pedestrian zones, mathematicians, chills. Do you know your times tables? Mathematicians are born to multiply, but they're not the one that I want here. Creating an endothermic reaction, it was chills. Yes, chills for the thrills. 109,421, if you got that right. Uh, some of you thought mathematicians were multiplying. That is kind of logical, but absolutely wrong. Sorry about that. Uh, the song was written for the 1978 movie, but it proved so popular that it was retrofitted into the stage musical. And now, Q2. Which of these streets was once home to the offices of UK national newspapers? Fleet Street, Coronation Street, Avenue Q. How well do you know your news? Journalism has its fair share of Muppets, it's true, but we're not talking about Avenue Q here. Shipping scandals since the 1700s, it's Fleet Street. Were you fleet on your feet? Yes, 99,203 of you were. Uh, 4,000 thought it was Avenue Q, and you are vanging away into the sunset where you can play with your Muppet characters all you like. Britain's biggest newspapers used to call it home back in the 80s, but they've all moved away from each other now. Now, some shouts to Barbara from Bournemouth. Hello. To Mike, Mary, Danny, Wayne and Jordan. Hi to you guys. To Jason and Ryan from Norwich. To Dan, Paul and Timmy the dog, who would also like me to say hello to Miss Vanjie. Well, we all have a lot. Uh, so Dean, uh, hello to Dean from his husband Matt. To Daniel and Nick from Newmarket. To Emily and Tom, who are soaking up the Brighton sunshine. And to Joe and his girlfriend Maisie. Hello from Matthew. And to Benj Neil, happy birthday. Okay. Happy birthday to all of you. Good luck to everyone. Uh, and Q3. Daniel LaRusso and Mr. Miyagi were lead characters in which series of movies? Kickboxer, The Karate Kid, Rocky. Bit of 80s movie trivia to move it right along. They all go through some pretty intense training montages, but who had to clean Mr. Miyagi's car? Wax on, wax off. It's The Karate Kid. I kid you not, 93,471 of you remember the movie. Mr. Miyagi was nominated for an Oscar, while Daniel never had to worry about bullies again. Happy endings all round. On to Q4. Which creature was traditionally used to suck blood from patients to cure ailments? Lamprey, leech, vampire, bat. Tax collectors not on the list. They're a right bunch of bloodsuckers. But who gets to claim it's all for medicinal purposes? Gobbling down the gore, it's Leech. Leech. Sucking on the right answer, 91,713 of you. Leeches secrete proteins that prevent our blood from clotting, which is why we've been using them since Egyptian times. Q5. David Byrne found fame as the lead singer of which band? Talking heads, small faces, stiff little fingers. Don't get banned from the game, just get this one right. He's still setting our ears ablaze, but which band put the burn up front? Yapping away, it was a talking heads. Heads you win, and if you got talking heads, 67,537 of you did, you stay in the game. So talking heads shut their mouths back in 1991, but that hasn't stopped David Byrne from talking to himself for 10 solo albums. Now for something completely different. Q6. 
What type of festival is the Upheliar in Shetland? Sheep festival, fishing festival, fire festival. Upheli where? Upheliar, of course. You won't see many bands at Upheliar, but what are they rocking out to instead? Setting the island ablaze, it's a fire festival. Burn, baby, burn. 21,009 of you got that right, and we lost 48,000 of you. That was the first quite tricky, tricky, tricky question of the afternoon stroke evening, but I won't call it savage. It was just quite hard. The one-day event ends with the ceremonial boat burning, so best to leave a little early if you're staying on the mainland. Okay, Q7. Which singer had a recurring role in the TV program Two and a Half Men? Lord Tinashe Charlie XCX. TV and music trivia all in one. Three velvet-voiced vixens, but who appeared in Two and a Half Men? Known for her 2014 hit Two on its Tinashe. Yes, sachet away if you got that wrong, but 12,585, you got it right. Hello. Hi. Tinashe played Jake's ex-girlfriend Celeste, appearing in season six and seven of this show. Okay, another pretty tricky one, but we still have 1,205 of 1,200, 12, 12,000, I should say, using the traditional way of pronouncing those numbers. 12,585 of you in the game, 931 people using extra life to get back in, and we're going on <laughs> as quickly as possible to Q8. Which of these countries does, does the equator not cross? Indonesia, Bolivia, Gabon. Uh, and you might not be cross if you get this one right, but you will be if you get it wrong. Which is the equator, not cross? A saucy selection of scorching states, but who sits just south of the sizzle? Believe it or not, it's Bolivia. Bolivia, for the right answer, 4,867 people got it right. Well done. The equator passes through 13 different countries, though it seems to have paid us a visit this week. Sweltering. Okay, on to Q9. Out of the following British places, which one records the lowest average annual rainfall? Blackpool, Manchester, Cardiff. Where does it rain the least? The Welsh capitals, practically underwater. But who stays the driest? More of a desert than oasis, it's Manchester. Madchester to its friends, mad for it. 1,810 of you, we lost 4,000 people there. Despite being labelled the rainy city, Manchester records an average rainfall of just under 87 centimetres. Which isn't very much. Q10. Which of these is not the first name of a character played by Denzel Washington? Gray, Keith, Toby. I think this is so hard. It's going to eliminate almost all of you, but let's see. Denzel has played over 40 characters on the big screen, but which name has he never answered to? He's won a Tony, but he's never been a Toby. Toby, the right answer. Toby or not to be? Well, 1,227 of you got that right. The majority of you knew it was Toby that he hasn't played. You, Obviously, big Denzel fans were just blooming lucky guesses. Denzel gave Grey a go in the Pelican Brief, and he keithed it up in 2006 Inside Man. On to the last two cues. Here comes Q11. Which of these actors won a Grammy Award in the Best Recording for Children category? Jim Carrey, Christopher Lee, Boris Karloff. Ah, that well-known category in the Grammys, where everyone goes out to the bar. Carrey brought the Grinch to life, but who had already greened it up for a Grammy? The face of a monster with the voice of a legend, it was Boris Karloff. Yes, he did a recording of the Dr. Seuss poem and won a Grammy for it. 670 of you got that right. Okay, now pitchforks at the ready because we are storming into the final round 670 people still in the game after that ridiculous question and a quite tricky ancient grammy history one very impressed one thousand pounds to play for 74 people used extra lives to get back in smart ass one cue to go here it comes q12 which of these giant volcanoes recorded an eruption the most recently? Mauna Kea, Mount Vesuvius, Mount Fuji. Most recent eruption. 
They've all popped their tops in spectacular fashion. But who was the last to let out the lava? Hawaii may be eruption city right now, but Mauna Kea has kept its lid on for four and a half thousand years. But giving Pompeii a sequel in 1944, it was Vesuvius for the win and exploding to victory, 423 people. Well done. Four, 420 of you clever boots. Sometimes it's just really hard to outfox you. We had questions about Upheliar, the fire festival, originated in the 1800s and was only cancelled due to world wars or the death of Queen Victoria. Really tricky stuff here. Hopefully HQ will never have to be cancelled because Queen Elizabeth can live forever. Anyway, congratulations to £2.36 winners. Chowdini, Cuoco93, Josh Reed, Louisa May 10, someone with a quite a scary smiley face, a little bit mad, wouldn't like to meet you in a dark alley kind of face, uh, and a swirly kind of hypnotic plasma type thing, which is making me lose myself in its uh, misty glare. Anyway, well done to everyone. It was great to see you, as ever. I'm Barry Livingston, and you can find me on Twitter and Insta. You can find our main account on Twitter at HQ Trivia UK. And we will be back at 9 p.m. tomorrow for our big Sunday game. £8,000 to win. All new questions. A certain very beautiful presenter in the chair. That's not me, uh, just so you know. Hope to see you then. Meanwhile, have an amazing Saturday night. Goodbye. <laughs>